M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Quashang UV5R programming software, exactly the same as the UV K5 and K6, because they're the same radio. So all you do is go to this link here that I'll provide in the description, click download, and you'll get a zip that looks like this. And then just run the zip, and as you can see, it says UV K5. And when you run it, it will open up as this. You can uh, check the COM port on your device, so it's just a UV5R cable. Just the, even a both on one will work. Go to Device Manager, double click ports, and there we're COM11. And then on the actual software here, which is very good software, I think. A lot of people say, well, I want to use Chirp, and Chirp does do the UV, uh, it will do this radio, because it's the same as the UV5 and 6, and Chirp have got that now. But I think this, this software that's in, that we get is very good anyway. So you can see here, um, you just go to settings, com, select your com. So we've got disconnect there and then connect. And it will connect, then you read the radio, click read. Reads very quickly as well. Perfect, and then we'll just put in some names here. So let's have a look now, we've got, oh, we haven't put many memories in this one. So here is, Double click the line, GB3FI. You've got your frequency, shift, high power, tone, send tone look. Click OK. Oh yeah, the tone amount is here, 77. Click OK. Sorry, it's been a while since I used this. This one looks like GB3ZB. So look, on number five, you've got name, Bandwidth, so narrow or wide if you want. Frequency in and out, high power, low power, CTCSS and CTCSS frequency. So if we double click it, you open up a new window. So we'll, this one looks like GB3WB. So we just go GB3WB. High power because I'm, I'm going to be out and about on that. But at home, if it was my node, I would just put low power. And then we don't want receive tone, we want transmit tones just to open up. And then across to the right, look, 77 hertz. And, and then you put your shift. So you have your receiving frequency and your transmitting frequency when you're doing the software. Let's do another one. Let's do, that one looks like GB3WR, caps. GB3WR. Then you've got your receiving is 145600. And then it does get confusing. Receiving is 145, that's what you hear on. When you key the mic, it's 145 and all the noughts. Power, CTCSS, across to the right. Now actually we, want the, we don't need it on the receive, so we can click none. On the send, we want yes. And then we want to choose the, the, the correct uh, sub-audible tone. Frequency step doesn't really matter. Power, and click OK. That's GB3ZB, I recognise that one. GB3ZB. Do that one like that. And that's GB3BC. GB3BC. So you get the idea, it's a lot quicker this way. We can close that, and there are lots of other settings here. Let's go File. We can look at what we've been doing. There are DTMF stuff. I find it works DTMF out the box. Basic info, you can program your keys here, look, monitor, flashlight, selecting a tone, we don't really do that anymore. Let's put it to scan off on, on off. You get the idea, so that's that. Common settings is this window. Single talk time length. Is that minutes? I'm guessing it is. Auto backlight, unfortunately it does go off, but you can set it to how many seconds, beeps, squelch level, I think about three, power on display mode, I'm sure it does show a photograph, power on display mode, full screen, welcome intro and voltage, I'm going to put full screen, not sure what that does, one key core channel, is that like a priority, yeah I think, I think it is, uh, NOAA channel auto scan, is that weather, don't know that, then dual watch, yeah, we've got that. 
Vox we're not using anyway, VFO open, and then look, display, you want to put on channel name, otherwise you're not going to see the, the memories. So that's that done. What else can we see here? Password, window, device, file. You can save, save that so you don't lose it. UV5R. Save your configuration. What can we export and import? Can't see import export at the moment. Click save and save as and open, opening and bringing in files. Import export would be nice, maybe with some other software that's got that. So we can in import and export items. So thanks for watching my channel, that's about it. We'll send that to the radio. Click write out. And then we'll have a quick look to see if the memory channels have gone in and that's the video. Now on this particular device, to select memory mode, you go F then three, and then A and B, you go F, then two. And if you want to cycle through the bands, you go F, then one, it'll go through the bands. So look, straight away, I know it's not the clearest image, but it is showing my channels, and if I go up the memory channels, you can see them changing, and we'll go F, A, we can cycle through the memory channels there as well. And then if you go F, VFO, back to VFO mode, and we can type the frequencies. Works great. It looks great. I mean, why they left out USB-C charging, I just don't know. I just don't get it. But thanks for watching my channel, 7.3.